It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Sainsbury's have dropped another batch of craft beers on us and I've picked some of them up. Not all of them are craft beers, some of them are more real ales. That are part of their Taste the Difference range. Oh, I believe it used to be called Taste the Difference, but... Now it's changed to Selected by our Experts. So I'm going to start off by showing you some of these beers then. So this is a Golden Ale at 4.3% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. Brewed in the heart of Dorset. So maybe if I'm guessing at that, it could very well be... Ah, oh, there it is. Brewed and bottled by Hall and Woodhouse. So Badger. This is being brewed by Badger Brewery. So they, this is a Golden Ale. A medium body with subtle fruit and floral notes. All these beers will be coming to the channel soon. I look forward to reviewing them, to be honest. We're hitting that season now in the UK. It's the end of September 2022. Past summer, way past summer. So we're into those kind of colder months. So moving into that more bottled ale territory, I like to say, in the winter months. Next up, we have a rather nice looking, and I'll tell you what I'd like to mention as well, is the fact that they've used different bottles here. This is more of a long chimney-like bottle, and this is more of a stumpy 500ml bottle. Uh, this is Ruby Red Ale, and this is brewed and bottled by Shepherd Neem. Shepherd Neem, the bottles that they used to use, they used to be having little engravings on the neck that said Shepherd Neem. So that looks nice. Uh, crimson coloured and full flavoured plum, prunes and raisins with a touch of toffee. 4.5% ABV, 500 milliliter bottle. Taste tested by customers. It is part of their Taste the Difference range. It says it on the back here. But it also says selected by our experts. Moving on, we have an English Pale Ale. 4% ABV, 500 milliliter bottle. Taste the Difference, selected by our experts. Looks good. This is the description is you brewed using English Challenger and Cascade hops, a refreshing, well balanced, balanced medium bodied ale. It's really interesting now that we have UK English Cascade hops. Cascade hops were originally an American hop. So it's nice to see we, we have some nice British hops some British Cascade in this brew. Next up. Another beer from Shepherd Neem. This is the Citrus Pale Ale, 5% ABV. And just looking at the back of this, it's been brewed with Fuggles, Citra and Mandarina. I love the Mandarina hop. It gives a lovely orangey kind of zesty taste to it. Yeah, 500 ml bottle. The description on this, on this one is a refreshing pale ale with a delicious smooth bitterness. Orange citrus taste and aroma from the fragrant mandarina hops. Something that Shepherd Neem probably should look at, really, because this has been contract brewed by Shepherd Neem for Sainsbury's, and Sainsbury's have probably insisted on it being in dark brown bottles. Shepherd Neem beers are in <laughs> clear glass bottles. So it's amazing that a supermarket knows what it wants but the brewer goes for a more marketable product. But it, in, in, in a marketable product, it damages the product because it's clear glass. It's going to get a bit of light strike from that clear glass hitting the hops. A darker brown bottle will protect the hops from that light strike. Next up, we have a summer ale. Uh, this is 4.3% ABV, 500 milliliter bottle. Oh, the bottles, by the way, were £1.60. £1.60 for the bottles. This was reduced. This was £1.20. It is the end of September. It's probably because it's not summer anymore and nobody wants to go to beach huts anymore. <laughs> 
unless you're a paddle boarder. 4.3% ABV, 500 milliliter bottle, brewed and bottled by Shepherd Neem in England. And this doesn't have really a description on it. Uh, the hops are uh, Centennial, Sars and Challenger. Again, it's been brewed, I imagine, yeah, Shepherd Neem in England. So we're nearly there with the bottles now. Now we've got a bottle of Best Bitter. This is again brewed by Hall and Woodhouse. An English Best Bitter Ale, 4% ABV, 500 milliliter bottle. Taste the difference range selected by our experts again. And this one does have a description. An easy drinking, sessionable English style Best Bitter brewed in the heart of Dorset, Badger. The Bobeck and Dana hops produce, produces the subtle bitterness and noble pine note characters with the addition of biscuity crystal malt to create a well-balanced, full-flavoured beer. This would go well with a hearty steak and ale pie, served lightly chilled. I think I like that. I do like a best bitter. I don't think I've had a best bitter from... Hall and Woodhouse Badger. It generally kind of light pale ales and citrusy beers, so that should be an interesting brew. Right, moving on, we got five cans of craft beer to show you. This is by North Brewing Company, and this is their Songbird IPA, 6% ABV, 440 milliliter can. Looking forward to this one. The description is this rich, smooth IPA has flavors of sweet, juicy blueberry, alongside sharp, fresh cut pineapple. Should be good, should be good. If any of these beers have been on the shelves at Sainsbury's for a little while, please let me know. Sainsbury's for me is a nine mile drive. Nine miles there, nine miles back. So I generally, unless there's a big beer drop, I generally don't go, it's too far away for me to go, especially when there's supermarkets all around me. So if they have been on the shelves for a while, please comment below. Uh, next up, we have Salt and Wild Beer Companies. We challenge you to a hop off. This is a Mountain IPA at 7.2% ABV. 440 milliliter can. The cans were £3.50 a can. £3.50 a can for these, for these craft beers. Now, Salt... Salt beer in the supermarkets has generally been very good. Wild Beer Company's beers in the supermarket have generally been very good. I look forward to trying that beer. Next up, now this is an interesting one for me because I was drinking Lervig. I met Lervig just last week in Norway. Met the guys from Lervig at the Bergen Craft Beer Festival of 2022, September. And we had a good chat, we had a laugh. And uh, next... You know, next thing you know, I'm going to Sainsbury's a week later and I'm finding a Lervig beer on the shelves of Sainsbury's supermarket. Now, this is called Loudspeaker. It's a pale ale at 5.2% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. It's been brewed and packaged at Lervig Acti Brewery. Judging by Lervig's beers, now I was drinking an Imperial Stout last week. It was like a coconut toffee crumble thing. It was amazing. It was absolutely fantastic. That should be a good beer. Next up, I'm really looking forward to this one. Vocation Special Edition Maple Glaze Maple and Coconut Stout. 6.8% ABV, 440 milliliter can. Rich, decadent, velvety. A sumptuous stout brewed with rich chocolate malt and oats, topped off with golden maple and subtle hints of coconut. Tap into the indulgent flavour of nutty, caramelised maple sugar in this decadent and velvety stout, rounded out with delicate, fragrant coconut. Whoa, doesn't that sound really blooming good? Really, really good. Two to go. Fierce XNZBC, Stuff and Nonsense, New Zealand Pale, Nectaron and Motowika 5.5% ABV. Nectaron has got an R, which was copyrighted. 
So maybe it's a British hop that's been copyrighted. Can you see the little ah, a registered trademark there? Registered trademark, I should think, not copyrighted. Um, stuff and nonsense. Motorica hops and nectar and hop oil combined to create a New Zealand pale that we think is pretty damn unique. Juicy, zesty and lively with big citrus and tropical pineapple flavours. It tastes awesome. Anything else is stuff and nonsense. Well, that's what's going on. Well, I won't, I'm not going to mention stuff going on in the world. You didn't come here for that, did you? Um, right, that, that's that one coming up. And then last but not least... This will be coming to the channel soon. I've heard some really good things about this. This is Brewdog proudly presents Rattlin' Rum, a limited and exclusive small batch release. Rum and oak chip stout, 7.4% ABV, 440 milliliter can. With support from hops and barley. <laughs> I've not had a Brewdog beer in months. If I'm... If I'm perfectly honest with you, I think the last Brewdog beer I reviewed was it from Sainsbury's itself, and it was that can of candy kittens, which I poured down the sink. Apparently, though, this is very good. I've, I, I have had a rum-finished Brewdog beer before, which was tremendous. I called it one of the best Brewdog beers that has ever been produced. So let's hope that this kind of follows on. This should be on the channel very, very soon. Very, very soon. I'll get this one out for you. I hope you liked the video. The £3.50 for the cans, £1.60 for the bottles. They'll all be on the channel soon. I hope it's good value for money for everybody. Go and have a look. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.